uh, getting my makes and plans together. But as you know, I was at So Expo and didn't get back until technically the second and then it took a while to like get back into the swing of things. So here I am to tell you about all the things that I made in February. And if you remember from my February plans video, I was intentionally keeping things kind of low key because I knew I was going to be at So Expo. I knew that I, uh, February was going to be a short month, so on and so forth. So I got four things made and unfortunately I don't have much to show for it <laughs> because a lot of this stuff was for the Style Maker Fabrics booth to be put on display there. And so she has all of that stuff and she's going to mail it to me. So I didn't have to like pack it all up um, before the show was over. But I do have video um, that I will cut to so you guys can see what it looks like on. Okay, first things first, I made the Summit backpack for So My Style. I did not get it posted on the 29th or whatever day it was supposed to be to be in contention for the contest, but really that's not why I'm doing it. Uh, so I made the backpack. It's super cute. I wore it almost every single day at Expo. I wore it the weekend before when I was doing all the tours of Seattle and all the little islands around there. And it's really, really great. The only issue I have with it is that front zipper unzips toward the bottom for me if I don't remember to zip it all the way shut everything inside falls out and I guess there's really no great way to fix that other than to have like a double zipper that meets in the middle somewhere and you keep half of it like almost permanently zipped and then only unzip the top part it's just completely open on the side which is just a thing for me maybe other people won't have a problem with it but I don't know I was in a hurry throwing things in I mean there was a moment where I, th I thought I completely lost my wallet which had my ID all my credit cards like I wouldn't have been able to come home it would have ruined my trip and so from that moment on I just put everything in the big big pocket and didn't really use that front pocket at all so as I keep using it maybe I'll get in a better habit of doing that but I overall really enjoyed making it. I think the fabrics that I choose turned out chose turned out really cute. I have a whole separate video I'm going to do on the Summit backpack where I'm modeling it for you and I'll talk through a lot of these details again. Um, but just want to give you a heads up that that was a really cool fun project for So My Style. Okay I made another bag. This one was for the Style Maker Fabrics booth. Um, this is the Andre Designs Roll With It Tote. Again, I have a whole separate video that I'm going to do on this. I have a lot of thoughts about the pattern um, and the instructions, but I'll just tell you now that the bag is super, super cute and very well constructed. I feel like all the steps that she makes you take to put the bag together really do produce a very professional looking commercial type of bag. Nothing's flimsy, nothing's floppy, nothing's like weird. It's going to be a great little bag. The colorway that um, Style Maker Fabric sent the fabric for is a little bit more fall, but I do love that burgundy color. So I know I'll get a lot more wear out of it come September, October when my wardrobe just naturally has more of those like fall type colors. The fabric is exceptional. It's like a Japanese linen cotton blend or something. I'll have all that specific information in the um, like modeled video, but it's really nice, like really nice. You could make like a beautiful kind of structured jacket from it. Um, that would be really cute. Of course, it works really well for bags, maybe even like shorts. If you had like a, a really structured pair of shorts, like a almost paper bag waist, even something along those lines, um, the fabric would be really great for that. I really enjoyed working with it. The piping was a little touch and go. So if you're more of a beginner or you've never worked with piping before, doing it around those curves is kind of a B. <laughs> Um, so, but you can omit it easily. You could just leave that off and you still have a beautiful bag. Okay. Now for garments. So I finished this from my stash. This is the Seamwork, <sighs> Seamwork, why don't I have this? Oh, there it is. Seamwork Danny. Uh, 
and I'm not convinced. The fit is really weird. Um, you can see how this is like pulling away from me. Um, I don't know if I didn't make a big enough size or if this is a drafting thing, but then also, I don't even know if you guys can see, the back is like, I know it's a, maybe the fabric isn't the right fabric. I just, I know it's supposed to be like a loose fitting like thing, but like, this is weird and like the way it fits in the back is weird. I don't know. I, I don't know. And I don't really know if I want to put in the time to fix it. Um, it's just not what I imagined. Um, the fabric is a stretch leather and that could be part of the problem. Um, I don't know. I think this fabric was supposed to be leggings. <laughs> not a like loose fitting dress. Um, I don't know. I'll do a modeling video for you guys and show you everything, you know, head to toe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if it's a fail or not when you see the whole thing, but I did get it done. So there's that. It's not in my work in progress pile anymore. So that's good. Uh, one successful garment that I made was the Sew Over It Penny dress. So if you remember in February, I made the Sew Over It Vintage shirt dress. And so for the Style Maker Fabrics booth at Sew Expo, she wanted to have a couple of these patterns represented. So she chose the penny dress for me out of this gorgeous rayon chalet. And again, I have a whole model video to show you guys. This footage here was taken from the Maker's Hideaway with that beautiful view. I wish I would have brought more clothes to model because it was so beautiful there. Like we don't have anything like that. Well, that I know of. I've never really traveled, you know, 30 minutes outside of the city. So maybe there are more beautiful landscapey type of places near here. I know there's the Blue Ridge Mountains, but that takes a minute to get to and I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that for every video I have to model. But it's just very beautiful out there. Um, okay, so back to the dress. Uh, the way that the penny is cut, and again, I'll tell you all about this in the modeling video, um, that skirt is a dream. It feels so like swishy and twirly and the fabric just feels so good on your skin. It's just, you feel, I don't know, prissy whenever you wear it. The combination of the two is really, really exceptional. And I just love the fabric so, so, so much. I'm pretty sure the fabric for the penny and the fabric for the Andre tote are still available. So check the link in the description box if you want to check out either one of those at Style Maker Fabrics. That's it for February. I'm really proud of myself considering I had the trip and a short month um, getting four things done that I'm really proud of. Even this, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling really good about that. Oh, I also have to tell you um, the trench, the never ending finishing the trench. So I got the buttonholes sewn but I'm too afraid to cut them open. <laughs> so like baby steps, right? Baby steps. Um, I got them all done. I think they look pretty good. Um, the fabric kind of like bubbles in certain places. Like it's kind of really bad. Well, you can't really see, but anyways, I just feel like once I cut them open, that's like, that's it. Not that I'm even gonna ever seam rip these at this point. Um, I just needed a moment. I need, I got, I was like holding my breath, sewing the buttonholes. And then once I got them all done, I was like, oh, like just too tense to do anything else. So, um, buttonholes and buttons are next. The belts got done, um, with the cute little buckle. So see, it's really coming together. I feel like in March, I'm going to be able to say, finally, I have finished this and I can't wait to show you guys what took me like a year and a half to actually make. I don't know that I'll ever take on another jacket like this. Ah, anyway, so yeah, I just had to update you guys because I feel like you are with me on this journey for the trench coat, but that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very, very, very soon. I have lots of great content coming your way.
Bye.